Hey guys, so for this look we're first going to start off with the brows, I'm using the collection brow kit, it's the darker version, I believe it's dark brown brunette, um, but this is really good since I did my products I used to love video, I've been using it non-stop and I have hit pan on them so they are so good for like £3 and I'm just filling in my sister's brows with this. Then I'm going to use the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden. This concealer is really good to cover your brows out. It's super hydrating. I wouldn't recommend it for the under eyes, but for like anywhere else on the face, it's really good. Um, and yeah, my sister does need to do and uh, clean up her brows a bit, but I did what I could do. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. Um, I just use this Real Techniques brush just to like make sure that they're nice and carved out. Um, and then I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark just to hold her brow hairs in place and can you see how the concealer really cleans the brows up? Next I'm going to be using the LA Girl Corrector in orange just over where she has any scars and yeah this is just going to help to colour correct and when you put the foundation on top you won't see the scars as much. After that I'm going to be using her foundation which will be the LA Girl HD foundation in tan and I'm just going to pump this all over her face and blend this out with my beauty blender which is already damp and yeah um, I thought I would let leave like the whole process in because some of you like to see the base makeup. I do already have a foundation review on this foundation which I will link in the info box if you guys want to check it out. This foundation is so good and it's like one of my favourites and also it's really good to use a damp beauty blender when you're colour correcting because it doesn't move the colour corrector at all and it doesn't mix your foundation with the um, colour corrector. I had to get around my nose and my sister wasn't like liking that. But yeah, I don't know what to say right now because this process is actually quite long. <laughs> Okay, so next onto concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige. I'm using this under her eyes and also on her lids and I'm just going to blend that out again with my beauty blender. And by the way, let me know if you want to see more backgrounds like this one because I kind of like it but I don't know if you guys like it. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see more colours and things like that because I don't know, I think it makes the video a bit more professional instead of like my bed or the back of my sofa or something um but yeah i'm just blending out the concealer i am going to go in with some uh, nyx uh, duo thing uh, this is this one is in the shade peach cinnamon walnut or oh, i don't even know the shades but all the products will be linked in the info box i'm so sorry it's so hard to remember all these names but i will link it in the info box as always but i'm using the contour shade just to contour cheeks a bit and i'm just blending this out with a sponge i prefer to blend out contours with like a brush i don't know why i just feel like i can control it a bit more now I'm going to use the W7 Banana Dreams powder just to set all around her eye area so under the eyes, on the lids as well and I did a bit on, around her mouth as well and then I'm going to be using the Colourpop bronzer in Swift and just going to just bronze around her face like the perimeter of her face a good tip is to use kind of like the number 3 on the sides of the face from the forehead to the cheeks and then to the, the jaw bone I did also grab some of the Banana Dreams powder on the Damp Beauty Blender and kind of cleaned up under the bronzer slash contour just to clean it up a bit and make it look a bit neater. But just make sure that you blend it all out with a clean brush afterwards and that there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Now I'm going to be using the Sleek Highlighting Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss which is such a good drugstore highlighter. Like seriously, if you haven't got it in your collection, you really need it. Especially for the price. And I'm just going to highlight the highest points of her face, her cheekbones, her nose, forehead. <laughs> I'm so bad at voiceover guys, seriously. Um, so now onto the exciting part. This is the Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 palette, I believe. It's the newest one and it's so, so, so pretty. Oh my god, and so pigmented. I'm using one of the paler shades to set her whole eye and kind of brighten it a bit more. But can you see how like you can see the colour packing on? It's just so pigmented. Um, I'm now going to be using this kind of warm brown shade and I'm going to use this as her transition colour. 
I wanted to keep the eyeshadow super simple so that even you guys who are just beginners in makeup and you still want to kind of learn, um, this is really good. It's super easy. You just grab a clean fluffy brush, blend this uh, first brown shade in the crease. Then we're going to grab a darker brown colour with a flatter brush, which, which is kind of like a flatter, fluffier brush. And we're going to blend this just underneath the transition colour. And I asked her to look straight so I could see where her crease is and kind of blend this into the crease and it kind of creates a really 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 soft cut crease and it really helps to look straight and kind of place the brush in the crease and just use windshield wiper motions it really helps now onto gel eyeliner i'm going to be using the rimmel scandal eyes gel eyeliner and i'm going to do a classic wing liner look i do already have a video on how to kind of do liner which i can also link in the info box for you guys but if you guys want to see a updated version because i did the last one with the liquid liner if you want to see a gel liner one let me know um and a quick tip is to use some concealer on a flat brush and just clean up the sharp like the edge of the wing and it kind of sharpens it a lot and it really helps to clean up the edge because i struggle sometimes to make the wing look super sharp so i use concealer just to help me achieve that sharp wing liner look so when i was done with her liner i did curl her lashes and i applied some mascara which was the maybelline lash sensational mascara and then for lashes i used the new 3d silk lashes from classy lashes uk and these were in the in the style city girl and i just thought this these would like suit the kind of classy wing liner look and then for blush, I'm using one of the EX1 blushes. I don't know the shade right now, so I'll write in the info box for you guys. And I kind of used the bronzer brush that I used earlier on to blend out the edges. And then for lip, I'm using the ColourPop lippy stick in Siggy, which was a nice classic red colour. And these lippy sticks stay so long on the lips. And there's a car outside that's making so much noise. But anyways, I just set her face with some NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and that's the finished look guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more looks on my sister or more prom looks. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye! So fly